share one of my favorite pasta recipes with you guys. I think this recipe is just so delicious and it's so simple to do and if you're vegetarian or you can make a vegan option for this as well, it's just such a simple and delicious recipe to turn to. So what it has in it is spinach, it's got avocados, it's also got yogurt but you can use an alternative for that if you're vegan and it's got spaghetti, garlic and onions and some seasonings of your choice. So really simple ingredients. So to start with all you need to do is put your pasta on. So I took a regular packet of spaghetti and just boiled the water as normal, put the spaghetti in, put a little bit of salt in and cooked it as per the instructions on the packet. So next you want to get your cherry tomatoes, about a bowl full, whether that's about a cup and a half, something like that, and take some olive oil. So lay your cherry tomatoes out onto a tray that's been lined and put a little bit of olive oil on them and then you can season them with some garlic, salt and pepper or whatever you want. And then put them in an oven on about 175 degrees Celsius for around 30 minutes. So while they're in the oven and your pasta's cooking, you want to make the sauce. So for the sauce, I take an onion and I chop it up. And it doesn't matter about how fine it is because you're going to blend it up later. And then I also take about four cloves of garlic and chop them up as well. And then I put a frying pan on and put a small splash of olive oil in there and put my onion and garlic in there and stir it around on low heat for a couple of minutes until it softens nicely. Then you can add your spinach. I have about a bowl full, <laughs> that's not a very good measurement. I guess it's about three big handfuls, but I don't think the quantity matters too much. And just put that in there and allow it to wilt gently for a few minutes. You can season this at this point if you want to, so you could add some garlic salt or pepper like I do, or you could add paprika or anything else and then take that off the heat once it's wilted fully. Then you want to grab a blender and add some avocado to that. So I use two avocados to slice them open, put them into the blender, and then I pour in my spinach mixture, and then I add my yogurt. So about a cup of yogurt is good. Uh, you could completely leave it out and add additional avocado if you wanted to, or any kind of alternative. And then just blend it up. So then you have your finished sauce. And now you can just strain your spaghetti and rinse it with cold water and take your tomatoes out of the oven if they're finished roasting and then kind of just put it all together. So that's the finished pasta and as you can see it's really simple. It only takes as long as the tomatoes take to roast. And it's just so delicious and easy to do and you can make a big batch that lasts multiple nights which is what I often do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys try it out, let me know. And any further information is in the description box, as per usual. Hope you guys have a wonderful day.